someone from the dark. How's my body being bent before a gun in someone's hand? I'll never understand. You gotta be ashamed of yourself, nigga. Real talk. You gotta be ashamed of yourself. All as you is. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Now I'm not gonna lie, I've seen this Nova Online guy on my socials for a long time now. Videos of him being the most I live with my mom in her basement and sleep with a body pillow ass person ever. I will not stand for this, Nova Stars. Do everything you can. He's greasy, acne covered, talks with a lisp, and is most importantly, he has a number of controversies, each worse than the last, varying from cringe to just morally questionable or even illegal. Now, Gabriel Gage, otherwise known as Nova Online, many people have been introduced to him in different ways. Some people may just be on the YouTube crowd of people critiquing him and calling him out for his horrible behavior, his cringeness, and the numerous horrible things he said to other people, especially people in the commentary community that have made videos about him, such as Sensitive Society and others. Or you may know him from the TikTok space where you've seen the French Onion Soup video. Can I get a French Onion Soup, please? Or any one of his videos. Whether you genuinely enjoyed watching his content because the For You page just recommended it to you, and you liked the video, or you saw the French Onion Soup clip, or you are a masochist and enjoy watching a neckbeard dance around his cluttered house and eat a bunch of fast food. Putting how you may have discovered him aside, Gabriel Gage is a law cow. Now for those who don't do not know what a law cow is, think about Chris Chen. And you can kind of draw a similarity between the two of them quite easily based on the way they act and the way people perceive them. How both of them were relentlessly trolled, made fun of, and of course manipulated into doing entertaining things, all while thinking they had a genuinely interested audience behind them and supporting them. No. Law cows are people who are milked for humor or cringe on the internet. Usually they are also harassed, trolled relentlessly, and constantly recorded to get as much content as possible. And Nova Online is no different than that. The platform that he garnered seemingly overnight, making these videos of him eating fast food and reviewing things and just kind of being himself, were actually being enjoyed by people who wanted to make fun of him. However, he still allowed this situation to feed his ego, getting this massive head about the fact that he had a large following and that people enjoyed watching him and that people were feeding into his mind. All while the people that were actually feeding his ego and giving him this overnight fame we're enjoying watching him be cringe. But let me break it down real quick. Before I get into the most recent problem with this guy, for whatever reason, Nova gained a sizable audience watching this. His content, and by content I mean the TikTok, the anime stuff, are watching him eat foods everyone likes and rating them. Now, of course, what comes with a weirdo gaining a large following inevitably is that he is going to do something that's going to endanger his career, his character, or several things that are morally questionable, odd, or downright strange. And with Nova, there are many, many to talk about. Things that are public and personal or personal that became public, but all of it is public knowledge at this point, as per his law cow nature. Now before I jump into his biggest controversy and the most current one that everybody's talking about, I want to give you a little bit of background on the other controversies that have occurred with him, including some of the things that have happened on both YouTube, TikTok, and other loose things that have happened before I get into the big one. Twinkle, twinkle, will that? How I wonder where you are up above the world so high. What the fuck is wrong with you? Start off, he has an age play in Diaper King. Now on paper, as weird as that is, especially for there to be pictures and videos that are public access of you age regressing and sucking binkies and wearing diapers, that's bro's private business. But since it's public and everyone knows it, not gonna lie, that is crazy. Not only being a grown ass man of 20 plus wearing diapers and acting like a toddler and singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star is nuts. You would have to torture something. You'd have to put me in the boondock scene where the CIA agent is sprinting at him with an iron boot on his foot and he's screaming, I'm not gonna say anything like not. You know who I am, don't you? Lloyd, wait a minute. Okay, look, maybe I was being stubborn. Let's try and talk this out. Wait, It'd have to be a crazy scenario for me to go for that. I'm sorry. You would have to dangle me over a vat of acid with Homelander staring down at me for me to even peep anything about that. That alone is insane, but in a vacuum isn't worthy of cancellation. But do you know what it is? As a grown man becoming extremely close to a minor.
So, you know, I started asking Sia about why she's talking to Nova if she knows about all the things that he did. And she basically tells me that she's just in it for the trolling. When I heard that answer, I'm like, there's no like adult that's going to respond with that, right? So I started asking her, like, how old are you? And the response I got was pretty shocking. It was an immediate admission that she was only 15 years old. Now, Nova was nowhere to be seen throughout this whole interaction. And right away, I decided to ban her from chat. But I didn't do it before I got screenshots of it all. And yeah, there you guys go. I mean, she told me herself that she's 15. I won't have anyone dissing her name. The white Bowser's just jealous because I have a woman and he doesn't. Now y'all, after reading that, keep in mind what Sia told me when she was in my live stream. She is only 15 and Nova Online is trying to say that this girl is his woman. How fucking crazy is that, dude? And it doesn't stop here. I mean, the reply that she gives him is fucking gold. See your response and says, I'm not your woman, Nova. And Nova says, why not? Well, for starters, Nova, she's a minor. Begging for a 15 year old girl to date you as a grown ass man is beyond pathetic, bruh. I'm not even gonna lie, bruh. Where's low tier God? Get him, get the clip. Somebody like you deserves to be hit in the street by a fucking moving bus. It's people like your ass that doesn't deserve to live. You deserve to be destroyed. You're on earth for literally no fucking reason. The sad part, you're not going to jail. You're going to prison. <laughs> not only have multiple people lost their platforms for this, but it's just ethically wrong. And it's also a certain other word that I can't really say without getting demonetized, but you can infer. Especially a girl that is 15 years of age. For reference, that's an 8th grader. For reference, that's a freshman in high school. And Nova is how old? And calling her your manager as a means to get closer to her and entertaining her and feeding her validation and attention and then in the middle of an argument confessing your feelings to her and calling her your girl and then when she corrects you and says I'm not your girl you ask why ladies and gentlemen Chris Hansen take it from here now being cringe on the internet can be passed passable being annoying on the internet can be passable absolutely can be passable being ignorant on the internet can even be passable, especially in the modern day. But being a active predator, looking for a young girl to date is unforgivable and shouldn't even be dwelling on your mind whatsoever. It's, it's, it's a foreign concept to most people unless you're like a certain level of weird. But to TLDR this situation, Novo Online with a long history of internet controversy and being a log cow has finally actually done something that can be punished if you don't know or if you weren't paying attention during the video to recap nova online is a predator of sorts he not only actively was pursuing a 15 year old girl romantically but even accepted her friendship and companionship under the guise to get her attention romance even when he continued to press this girl she continued to reject him saying i'm 15 years old I'm a minor. I'm a minor. I'm not your girlfriend. I'm not your girl. And he's like, but why? But why? But why not? But that's really all for this video. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. And that's all. It's okay. I'll goodbye. Someone from the dark. Yeah, okay. I just walked in. I'm trying to get some more. Don't try to catch. They better lock in. Walk them down. If they talk, down. I got chopped.